Yo, yo, yo. Welcome, Curious Bug Venturers, to another mind-blowing episode of Atomic Booger. I'm your resident brainiac, Adam. And I'm your favorite giggly dragon booger. How do you know you're their favorite? You're kidding, right? Fair enough, booger. Today, Adam's got some super cool stuff to tell us. That's right, Booger. Today, we're shrinking down, down, down to explore the incredible secret world of insects. These tiny titans are often overlooked, but they have superpowers and play massive roles in our world. Superpowers? Like flying really fast or lifting heavy stuff? Exactly. This is Atomic Booger! But first, let's talk about why people actually care about these creepy crawlies. They're not just fascinating to observe, they're absolutely essential. Essential? Like my favorite comfy cave? (laughs) Even more essential than that. Insects maintain healthy soil, recycle nutrients, pollinate flowers and crops, and even control pests. For example, bees are primary pollinators, and about 30% of the world's edible crops depend on them. Without them, we wouldn't have yummy foods like blueberries and tomatoes. Dung beetles are like the planet's tiny garbage collectors. They break down animal waste, reduce methane, aerate the soil, and help plants grow. And dragonflies? They gobble up hundreds of mosquitoes in a single day, helping to prevent the spread of diseases. Wow. So, they're like tiny, super helpful gardeners and doctors. You got it! They keep our ecosystems in balance. They even break down debris, or trash, in water, leading to cleaner water for all of us, like the giant casemaker caddisfly. And part of how they manage all these vital roles is because they are so incredibly different from one another. Did you know there are over 1 million species of insects already discovered? And scientists believe many more are still out there waiting to be found. A million bucks? That's more than I can count on my claws. (laughs) Are they all just small? Not at all. Their adaptations allow for an amazing range in size. For instance, the fairy fly is the world's smallest insect, so minuscule you'd need a microscope to even play hide-and-seek with it. But on the other end, we have giants like the Goliath beetle, which can weigh as much as 3.5 ounces, like a deck of cards, and the titan beetle, which can grow up to 6.5 inches long. The Chan's megastick is the longest insect in the world, stretching over 22 inches, and the Queen Alexandra's birdwing is the largest butterfly with a wingspan that can reach a whole foot wide. Whoa, a foot wide butterfly. Imagine that landing on your shoulder. (laughs) Wow, and they live everywhere, right? Even chilly places? Absolutely. Insects are adapted for life in every environment imaginable from the depths of caves to your own backyard. You can even find insects in the freezing cold of Antarctica. Their incredible variety in physical traits allows them to thrive in these different habitats. For example, a dragonfly has very large eyes and very small antennae, which help it spot prey while flying. But an insect living in a dark cave might have small eyes and long antennae to help it feel its way around. So, their legs are different too, depending on where they live? Precisely. Their legs are adapted for specific movements and environments. Grasshoppers have long, strong hind legs for jumping over tall grass. Cockroaches have long, thin legs for running very fast to escape the danger. Some insects, like the water strider, have long, thin legs that allow them to walk on top of the water without sinking. And then there are diggers, like the mole cricket, which has short, shovel-like front legs, perfect for burrowing underground. It's these countless, unique adaptations that make each type of insect so special and allow them to fill their particular place in the world. Just wow, wow. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Speaking of tiny, super helpful creatures, let's dive into a story about a little bug with a big heart. This is the tale of Spark, the dung beetle. Yay, dung beetles. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember what that is. A dung beetle primarily eats and uses animal dung, or poop, for food and breeding. Poop? Yes, poop. Anyway, they play a vital role in ecosystems by burying and recycling dung, which helps to improve soil health, reduce pest populations, and recycle nutrients. Yuck! Poop! They can't be very popular! Well, that is a matter of perspective. If you are a dung beetle, then you might think differently about it. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, here is the story about Spark, the dung beetle. Wait, why is every character in your story's name Spark or Sparky? Never mind, just roll with it. Okay then, kooky head. <laughs> so, deep in a sun-dappled forest lived Spark, a young dung beetle. Unlike his siblings who loved to roll the biggest, heaviest balls of dung, Spark was fascinated by something else, seeds. He'd often stop his rolling to observe a tiny acorn or a delicate dandelion seed floating on the breeze. One day, a huge storm raged through the forest. When it cleared, Spark found a little maple seed, knocked far from its parent tree, lying alone and exposed on hard, cracked earth. It was too dry, too far from the soft soil where it could grow. Spark knew he couldn't move it by rolling it like dung because it was too light and fragile. But he remembered his ancestors. He knew his kind were the world's strongest insects capable of pulling over a thousand times their own body weight. He also knew they were amazing at digging and dispersing seeds. So Spark decided something. He would dig a new home for the little maple seed. It was hard work. He used his short, shovel-like forelegs to break up the dry soil. Hour after hour, he toiled, pushing aside pebbles and loosening the earth. He even carried tiny bits of moist soil from a nearby patch to enrich the ground. Other beetles giggled, asking why he wasn't rolling a proper dung ball. But Spark just kept digging. Finally, after what felt like days, he had created a small, damp hollow, just big enough for the seed. He gently nudged the maple seed into its new bed, then carefully covered it with the softer soil, packing it lightly with his strong legs. He even brought a tiny droplet of dew to the seed each morning. Months later, a tiny green shoot emerged from the spot where Spark had worked so tirelessly. He named the shoot Ned, and Ned, the little maple seed, had sprouted. Spark watched Ned, a warmth spreading through his tiny beetle heart. He understood then that even the smallest action, done with determination and care, can help create something truly magnificent. He might have been a small dung beetle, but he had planted what became a vast forest. That was so beautiful, Adam. Spark is such a hero. <laughs> he certainly is, Booger. And it highlights how incredible insects are and how they're adapted for life in every environment imaginable, from snowy Antarctica to your backyard garden. Some of these tiny creatures have been around for an incredibly long time. Like forever and ever. Well, not quite forever, but for millions of years. Silverfish have been around for over 400 million years, and dragonflies for about 406 million years. Whoa, that's older than you, Adam. <laughs> true, Booger, true. And get this, beetles first evolved around 327 million years ago and are now the largest group of insects on Earth. That's pretty good networking. <laughs> There are even insects that are older than dinosaurs, like some of our fossilized insect friends dating back 400 million years. Even dinosaurs had bugs. 
Wait, Adam, are spiders insects? They're pretty old too, right? Ah, oh. good question, Booger. And yes, spiders have been around for about 500 million years. But here's a cool fact. Spiders are not insects. They're part of a different group called arachnids. Insects have six legs and three main body parts, while arachnids, like spiders, have eight legs and two main body parts. Mind blown. Their amazing world has inspired us for ages. Insects are all over our movies, TV, and books. Ooh, tell me about it. Like that bee who tried to sue humans? You mean the bee movie? That's one. There's also A Bug's Life about a misfit ant named Flick. Ants with Woody Allen as Z4195, minuscule Valley of the Lost Ants, and the ant bully where a boy shrinks to ant size. And James and the giant peach as human-sized insects living in a peach. And who could forget Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio, who acts as Pinocchio's conscience and guide? For books, there's The Very Hungry Caterpillar and cool nonfiction books like Insect Superpowers. Even video games have bugs, like Swarm Assault, where you play as arthropod factions. All right, Booger. Are you ready for some truly amazing, rarely known insect facts? Oh, I'm always ready for facts. <laughs> One. Did you know that some tarantulas keep tiny frogs as pets? The frogs eat bugs that might harm the tarantula's babies, and in return, the tarantulas protect the frogs from bigger predators. Two, here's one that'll give you the shivers. The jewel wasp can actually turn cockroaches into zombies. It stings the roach in its brain, taking over its movements and leading it to its doom, so the wasp can lay an egg on it. Three, and for something sparkling, some glowworms build mucus nests that glow in the dark to create a deadly dinner trap, reeling in their prey like a fisherman with a glowing lure. Zombies and glowing sticky traps? They're even crazier than I thought. <laughs> Time for some bug-tastic jokes, Booger. Why did the fly fly? Uh, because it had wings? Because the spider was after it. Okay, your turn. What do you call a confused moth? <laughs> I don't know, Booger. What? A flutterby. <laughs> Get it? Like a group of butterflies is a flutter? That's a good one. Here's a riddle. I have six legs, but I can't walk. And my legs are more like a toolkit for grabbing food. What am I? Is it a dragonfly? <laughs> you got it! Well, Booger, our adventure into the secret world of insects has been incredible. From the tiny fairy fly that's smaller than a crumb to the mighty goliath beetle that can outweigh a hamster, insects are truly diverse and unique. Plus a buck that eats poop. They have amazing adaptations like ears on their knees, mouth parts for sucking nectar, and even antennae that help them navigate in the dark. And they make so much possible! They're the hidden heroes ensuring our crops grow, our waters stay clean, and our ecosystems thrive. So, the next time you see a bug, Remember the amazing secret world they live in and the vital role they play. Don't step on the tiny superheroes. That's right. Thanks for joining us on Atomic Booger. Bye, everyone. See you later and be greater. Atomic Booger is a production of Light Circle Entertainment, copyright 2025. Produced by Mark Rako. There's much more at AtomicBooger.com. Atomic Booger is intended for entertainment purposes only and may not be the opinion of Light Circle Entertainment or its associates.